Mel Miller, Jesus Vaquero, in the time of their lives. Get ready. Go. Hi. Today's an exciting day. Today we're preparing the casting for the Verb Circus, coming soon to Aprend Inglés Television. I'm really excited. Today we have all the guests coming in for interviews and we're deciding which candidates are the best to appear on the Verb Circus. We're figuring out their levels, their enthusiasm, and we're looking for great people and people that are excited to be on the show. And we have a lot of them, a lot of people who are really excited to be on the show. I have to get in here because I have students waiting, people coming soon, and we'll see you soon on Aprende Inglés TV. Why don't you come inside and take a look at the casting? Begin. Thanks for coming. How are you? Uh, fine, thank you. Okay, good. This will be your debut on television, right? The Verb Circus. This will be your first experience with TV? Yeah. Why are you interested in being on this show, on The Verb Circus? Because I always, I always, we had what's happening this TV mm -hmm. and, and I always think that I would like to participate in programs. So. Great. So I, I read about the opportunity to participate in this program and I decided to send my application for it. To have fun? To have fun. To have yes. fun. Why are you here? Why are you here, Jesus? Well, because I got an email from him. I think it was a kind of a spam. And when I read it, I found that very interesting. Always wanted to do something like that. And mm -hmm. That's the reason why I'm here. Because I, I really would like to live this experience. Yeah. Enjoy it. The most important thing is just to relax and have fun, you know, yes. don't, don't worry about it. She's been studying English for eight years maybe in school, okay. and then another five maybe outside of school in an academy. Alberto Alonso, taking notes. Taking notes, take notes from my notes. What makes you a great candidate? Um, because I'm looking forward to participating in it, I'm very excited about the idea. You're participating in it? In the show? Yes, in the okay. show. This is a very difficult question. <laughs> myself, okay. On myself. But are you, are you, do you have energy? Are you enthusiastic? I have energy and I have enthusiasm, but I'm also very shy. Enthusiasm. Okay. Enthusiasm. I just made it Enthusiasm. Yeah, I can't say Enthusiasm. 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 Okay. Can, can you tell me something else about yourself? Something interesting, maybe just in one minute, just a short story, maybe about something funny that happened to you, something interesting, something strange, or something about yourself that's interesting, just for one minute. It doesn't have to be the most exciting thing ever, but something you okay. did. Okay, the most exciting thing I, don't, I <laughs> did uh, last days was... No. Late, lately? Lately? Okay. okay. Lately it was go to Zaragoza Sagar for oh. a music show. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what by kind of Lori Meyers? So, sorry. Do you know Lori Meyers? Lori Meyers. Uh, I'm too old, maybe. Lori Meyers. Do you know them? I don't. I don't know them. I'm very stressed with my job right now. Uh, and I got You're up. stressed. Yes, I'm a little stressed. I got up. Uh, it was 4 a.m. And I thought that I had to go to work, so I got up. You didn't I look at the, you didn't look at the clock. No, I, it was the time, and I have a lot of work to do right now. So I dressed up. I got I got dressed. I got dressed. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And then I I had my breakfast, and when I was oh yeah leaving. You realize when the wrong show is on Vaughn Radio, there's something wrong in the world, right, Jesus? Yeah. Yeah. That's the feeling that I want. Okay. <laughs> Good. And then I said, I think it's time to go to bed. Well, that's vacation. Vacation. Vacation, va vacation mm -hmm. was in Berlin. Oh, nice. I, I was, I went, no, I've been, I went. I went. I went to, to, to Berlin. Did you see the Brandenburg Gate? Of course. Where you are, stay, where, where, don't need to stay. <laughs> Where, where did you go? Well, no, 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 no. Do you have a brother? Right. Now, what does she want to know? She wants to know if you have a brother. Okay, yes. Yes, I have a brother. She wants to know where your brother lives. It's, okay. Because it's, it's, it's not a question. What you're she wants to eat 
a pizza. She wants to go to the cinema. She wants to know where your brother lives, right? Do you like translations? She doesn't like translations, I think. I love translation. Do you? Yes. I'm going to read something in Spanish, and I want you to tell me the sentence in English, okay? Okay. No problem? No problem. Okay. How would you say in English? Tu nombre es muy largo. I, your, your name is um, very long. Your name is very, very long. Very long. Okay. Estoy un poco cansado. Eso es todo. Anybody? I don't remember. Them. I'm a bit tired, that's all. Yeah, I'm a bit tired. What else can you say other than bit? I'm a bit tired. I'm a... Little tired. I'm a little tired. That's all. Nadie sabe por qué él se fue. Nobody knows why he left. Simplemente dejó de venir a la oficina. He just... Uh, he came, he came, and then one he day had, he just... He just given up. He gave up or he just stopped coming. Esto es muy difícil. So it's muy difícil. This is very difficult. This is very difficult. Soy de Inglaterra. I'm from England. Good. Again. I'm from England. Yeah, the M again. I'm from England. Somos de Estados Unidos. Be careful. Be careful with this. Uh, be careful. We are uh -huh. from the United States. Ah, nice. The United States. Again. We are from the United States. United States. United States. You could also say the States. The States. Casually. I'm, we're from the States. Ask me if I'm from the States. Uh, are you from the States? No, I'm not. No. Ask me how long I've been here. How long have you been here? Good, good. I've been here for, I think, six and a half years. Long time. Mila's done very well. I second the motion. Let's go with something more difficult, more challenging. Are you ready? Let's try some questions. I'm going to give you an answer, and you're going to give me the question. Do you know this exercise? Yes. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just, no, don't worry. I'll, I'll ask you a few questions. It costs ten dollars. Uh, how much does it cost? Very good. He lives in Boston. Where does he live? Good. He does it because they pay him. Why does he do it? Good. I get my hair cut once a month. Uh, how often did you get your hair cut? Wow. You're a crack, right? Good. Very good. Very good. You've done very well. Yeah, yeah. She's a lady. And the lady is mine. This is how we work. This is how it goes around here. Mila. That's a good guest. He does this impersonation of me after every single casting interview. To the, he gets the camera and he does this impersonation. I've been spending a lot of time with Kyle and he's rubbing <laughs> off on me. <laughs>just going through my notes here from the casting today. Today we're looking for contestants for the new show, The Verb Circus, coming in March, right here on Aprende Inglés TV. We've been interviewing people all day, and it's looking really good. We have a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of people really excited to be on the show. I'm excited about it. It's going to be great. So remember, The Verb Circus, coming in March. Bueno, ¿qué te ha parecido el, las preguntas que te han hecho? Bien, 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 bien. O sea, estuvo por lo menos entretenido. La entrevista muy entretenida y, bueno, sencilla, divertida. Pues bien, muy bien. El casting me ha parecido bastante interesante o very interesting. Ha sido muy corta, la verdad, muy rápida y, bueno, no sé. Challenge, un poquito difícil. Ha sido fácil, ha estado bien. Bueno, tampoco ni fácil ni difícil, ha estado bien. No lo he visto difícil, yo esperaba que a lo mejor... Eh, aumentará cada vez más de nivel a ver con toda de sí la persona. La entrevista me ha, me ha parecido interesante y aparte he tenido la oportunidad de conocer a dos de los presentadores más conocidos de Aprende Inglés Televisión, lo cual siempre es una oportunidad que, que te hace ilusión. He visto por primera vez en persona a Alberto Alonso, que bueno, estaba ya acostumbrada a oírle su voz, pero bueno, le he visto en persona y es súper amable y contentísima. No sabía muy bien ni lo que me iba a encontrar, porque nunca he hecho ninguna cosa de estas, pero me lo he pasado muy bien. Con Kyle, genial. Muy simpático y la verdad estoy súper tranquila de que el concurso lo conduzca él y muy bien. Quiero presentarme al, al concurso de Verb Circus eh, porque bueno, 
eh, siempre me hubiera gustado participar en alguno de los programas de, de Aprende Inglés Televisión y bueno, no sabía cómo, cómo hacerlo y lo vi por Facebook y no lo dudé. Me he enterado del casting eh, por la radio. Eh, todas las mañanas suelo desayunar escuchando el programa. Nos hemos enterado de este casting a través de Matilda, que trabaja en Baugan Systems también. Cuando conocí realmente el sistema Bogan fue en un curso intensivo en Madrid de cinco días y allí bueno, tuve tres profesores, eh, no sé cuál sería mejor, uno venía de Texas, otro venía de Gran Bretaña, otro de Suiza, los, dos, los tres genial y se les entendía todo y en cinco días aprendías como en seis meses. Realmente me agrada la idea y bueno, eh, vamos a ver qué, qué tal se da, como siempre es una experiencia más, ¿no? Tengo muchas ganas para ir al concurso de Verb Circus. Quiero aprender inglés para, para mi trabajo, para, para viajar, es muy útil y bueno, para todo. Sobre todo para moverme por el mundo porque me gustaría eh, trabajar en el extranjero y sobre todo para tener un valor añadido de cara a las empresas en España. Ahora estos días, si no sabes inglés, no puedes ir a ningún sitio. Yo sé inglés, pero quiero mejorarlo. Me interesa aprender inglés, primero porque creo que, que ya va siendo hora que, que aprendo a hablar inglés. Luego para mi trabajo no es esencial, porque no lo necesito, pero bueno, un trabajo con mucha gente extranjera eh, hay de todo tipo, rusos, americanos, franceses, ingleses, australianos y bueno, siempre soy yo la que está enseñando el castellano a todo el mundo y ahora pues me ha dado para, por aprender un poco pues para comunicarme mejor con ellos y sobre todo cuando me encuentro con algún director o con algún cantante preguntarle no solo que how are you, eh, si le gusta España y si le gusta la tortilla de patata. ¿Alguna anécdota en el extranjero? Pues una cosa que me sucedió fue que yo estuve un año en Italia y, y llevo la verdad es que muchos años estudiando inglés y entonces volví a Italia de estar un año viviendo allí y cuando en el metro me preguntó un inglés una dirección para ir a no sé dónde, me salió el italiano, no me salió el inglés y lo pasé fatal. Un poquito cotillas, ¿eh? El primer país extranjero al que fui fue Irlanda y me encontré con un acento totalmente diferente, cerrado y bueno, estuve en una casa donde no me enteraba de nada al principio y me costó su tiempo eh, captar eh, las palabras y la entonación. Anécdotas, no, lo que pasa es que me bloqueo muchísimo y, y, y yo necesito tiempo, entonces cuando me preguntan algo pues... Empiezo a dudar y empiezo a... Y claro, cuando ya me he dado cuenta, el señor ya, ya se ha ido y me he quedado... Y cuando ya tengo la frase hecha aquí, ¡pum! Se ha ido. ¿Nos podrías cantar una canción en inglés? No. <risa> no, no, eso no. I'm gonna be loved by you. <risa> es que, espera, espera, es que está corta. We all live in a jealous submarine. Jealous submarine. Yellow submarine. That's enough. <laughs> Where is my mind? Where is my mind? That is uh, what I'm thinking about. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kyle. Happy birthday to you. Me hacéis hacer unas cosas. Give me a beat. My name's Kyle Miller and I'm here to say, film the Verb Circus starting today. Alvaro, Alberto Alonso, Alvaro Q. All we need is you. Alberto, hit it. Well, there's a new program. It starts today. It's called the Verb Circus in a brand new way. It's great to see on our friend English TV. You catch it now live on your TV. Uh. See you soon. All right, I've just finished the casting for the Verb Circus. I'm so excited. It's going to be fantastic. We have some incredible guests and so much in this show. The content is fantastic, and it's coming at the start of March. Acordaros, a principios de marzo, the Verb Circus, aquí, en Aprende Inglés TV. See you soon.